Hey, this is Good Names, and welcome to the last of my automatic catapult alley designs. So, I have no clue what to call this, but it runs off of two different circles, or I guess axles, circles, that are offset and have different radius. So, this arm is the longer radius and it's offset backwards, I feel. Yeah, it's farther back than this torsion spring. So, that means that as this goes around, it will contact the other radi the other, it will intersect with the other circle of the torsion spring, and then when it gets farther back, it will exit that circle, thus releasing the catapult arm. Now this works fine, I actually lost the other arm, this was supposed to be a two arm system, but I couldn't actually come up with a good way to load this. Now as this comes back, I'll show you that it actually launches pretty far. And pretty nicely. Now this can be used in other systems. Let's see if I can make it. Make it. There you go. Work, work, work. Ah! Oh, one of those! You could have been it. Ah, oh, we'll wait another rotation. So this... Oh, it did work. Yay! I guess I don't have to. So, ideally, with advances in loading mechanisms, it went skyward. Yay! Flying up to the heavens. With advances in loading mechanisms, I hope to come back to this design because it's pretty efficient and actually looks like a catapult in comparison to the automatic catapult, which is really, I guess, a scrapapult. That's a fun word to say. So that's about for this. That's about it for this one. Please do subscribe if you found this insightful or any of the other videos insightful. Do go check out the automatic catapult or automatic scrapapult thing that I did earlier. And if you do subscribe, that will make the uh, 200 subscriber reward come ever closer. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.